Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen. Today's going to be a short video. This is going to be a color comparison of two Raquel Welch shades. I can't wait to show it to you. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will find some content here that's helpful to you and that you will like and subscribe to my channel. I purchased both of these wigs with my own funds from wigstudio1.com. I get a lot of questions about these colors. So I just thought today, let's just have a look at them. I'm going to show them to you towards the end of the video so stay to the end I'm going to show them to you in indoor and outdoor lighting now the wigs themselves I will just do a short uh, overview of them I'm not going to do a full review I've already done that on these wigs so if you'd like to see the full review just go to the search bar uh, in my on my channel type in the name of the wig and a video will pop up showing you the full review but that today we're just going to concentrate on this color so let's get started and look at two beautiful Raquel Welch shades. Let's start out with Raquel Welch. This is Upstage and this color is RL924 Shaded Ice Cafe Latte. Now this starts out, Raquel Welch describes this as a medium ash brown base. Not, not really dark, too dark, but it is a rich color, in my opinion, the base of this. And then next you'll start to see these gold blonde highlights that run throughout. Now, they are more concentrated around the face on this wig, in my opinion, and you will see that. So these gold blonde highlights, and see how they have placed them heavily around the face. Again, stay to the end and I'm going to show you this color in different lighting because I think you'll really be able to see that. And just a note on lighting. Please keep in mind, as reviewers, we do the very best we can. That is why, in my opinion, a wig review must show the color in outdoor lighting for you to get a representation, an accurate rec representation of the color. because. Everyone's lighting is different. Everyone's rooms they record in are different. Some have lots of natural light, some have none. So we have to use lighting or you would not be able to see the wig at all. So just know and please give us a little grace. We're all doing our best to show you the color as, as best we can, but you must see it in outdoor lighting, in my opinion, to really get a good look at the color. Now, again, let's get back to this RL9. 24. The gold blonde that is now running through it. It is so pretty. I think this rich brown is so gorgeous. I'm going to be showing you a lot of brunettes in the coming year, so stay tuned with that. You know, I used to only show blondes, then I fell in love with the reds, and guess what? Yes, now I'm starting to really like the brunettes, so stay tuned for a lot of brunettes. So again, this rich brown base, ash brown base. And then I love these highlights. I think they're so pretty. And then you have a medium brown root. Now this root is done so well, it just fades perfectly into this wig. I want to show you the inside of the cap of Upstage. Like I said, if you really want to dive deep into this wig, just check out my full review. I'm just This is just a little overview. This is a partial hand tied cap. Partial because I say, you see there is wefting here in the back. The rest of this is hand tied. It has an extended lace front and a mono top. It does have the seam between the lace and the mono, just like you to see that. It has an extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters and felt ear tabs. One of my all-time favorite styles. I just it makes my list every year. I'm sure it always will. I've always said this is the hair I wish I had been born with, <laughs> but I definitely was not. But that's okay because I can have it now, right? You know, we always, that's the beauty of wig wearing. We can change it up every day. Like I said earlier, I love my blondes, I love my reds, and now I love my brunettes. These are heat friendly fibers on this wig. So you can change it, you can straighten it completely, you can add curl completely. I really enjoy these heat-friendly fibers. All 
right, let's move on now to Raquel Welch Editor's Pick RL10 22SS Shaded Iced Cappuccino. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful color and style editor's pick. I don't think you can beat it again. Always makes my top 10. Now the base of iced cappuccino, shaded iced cappuccino, starts out with a light ash brown base color of this wig. I want you to make sure you see that. Then we move into this heavily ash blonde highlighting. It is very heavily highlighted, which gives this wig to me a much brighter look than what we were just looking at, of course, because this is very heavily highlighted. Around the face again, lots of highlighting. See it here. See how it's very, very heavily highlighted. And then again, on this medium brown root, I'm going to show you these but again. You'll see them side by side, and you can see, let me just hold this one up to you. Just the difference of how this looks and the rooting here, and then again here. So that is so pretty. Oh, just think this is beautiful. In my opinion, Raquel Welch just knows how to do the highlighting on these wigs. Of course, in my opinion, the highlighting around the face really makes it pop. It just lightens everything up, really brightens your face up. But this one, they just did it much heavier than the highlighting on the one we just looked at. I'll show you the inside of the cap of Editor's Pick real quick. Now this is, uh, there's some permatees here, as you can see. It has an extended lace front, also a seam and it's mono top there. It is open wefted. It has the memory cap, closed ear tabs with stays, extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters. And again, I certainly have more than one review of this wig on my channel. But these waves are so so beautiful. I really don't comb through my waves. A lot of people do. You get a much softer look if you really want to comb them out, make them soft. I just like um, to keep mine uh, more, more like this. So I just spray water on mine, run my fingers through it just to separate them a little bit. And that's just how I prefer mine. Again, and these are also heat friendly fibers. So, so pretty. I can't wait to tell, to see which one do you like better? Which of these two colors do you prefer? All right, I hope you enjoyed this look at these two Raquel Welch different shades, different wigs. I want to know your opinions. What do you like? Not on me. This is not about me. My channel has never been about me. My channel's about you. Which of these would you prefer for yourself and why? And have you tried them? And give me some uh, ideas of some other brunettes that you might like to see. Again, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for joining me. I will see you next time.